I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Crans Mode here and we're back with our week two team of the week predictions. I want you guys to go in the comment section right now and tell me who you think deserves the offensive and the defensive team of the week masters for tomorrow's release. I'm going to give you guys my opinions. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now you guys know the drill. If you enjoy this series and you want to see more, drop a like on the video, but also go down in the comment section and, and tell me, bro, you're wrong. He won't get a team of the week or you forgot about this guy who had an awesome week. And also guys, there is a game tonight. I, I understand that. So, you know, my list is all about, just about predictions and guesses on who's played already. So, I'm not going to get a perfect. I probably will only get, like, one or two of them right. But uh, it's fun to, to guess. <laughs> all right. So, I am going to uh, bypass one tier. I'm not going to do the gold tier. I, I don't predict gold cards. That's stupid. And, and, guys, if you've been with us for a while, you guys know it's a lot easier to predict the offensive than the defensive. So I, I have a longer list for offensive. Um, and I also have created custom cards for both offense and defense. Not all of them, but some of the ones that I think are, are cool that you guys would want to see. All right, so I'm going to start off with defensive because why not? And now I, I think we might see a curveball for one of the defensive players. Um, in the Eagles game, I was watching that mostly. Um, the last play of the game was a Hail Mary. We actually had an offensive player go out into the end zone for the defense. And his name is Travis Kelsey. I think we could see a Travis Kelsey strong safety or free safety card. I think it'd be a little bit early to throw in the curveballs, but I think it is possible. And I have one for offensive too. So, so just wait around for that one. So I think the player that's going to get the lowest elite card, Jason McCourty, possibly. Uh, he's got like a 79 overall. I think they can bump him up to an 81, possibly 82, 83. It would be pushing a little bit, but I could definitely see him getting a card. He had two pass deflections, a forced fumble, and an interception. Next up, we got Alex Ogletree, who I think had a great game. Seven tackles, a sack. It was a solid game, but he's one of those guys where a lot of people really like them, and like him, and like to have him on our team. So I think he'd be a good upgrade for this week. Then we've got one of my favorite guys, Desmond Trufant. I have him on my team currently. He had one pass deflection, an interception, and a fumble recovery for a touchdown. Definitely could see him getting an upgrade and would be a fan favorite, in my opinion. Then this one hurts, bro. This one hurts a lot. I'm pretty sure. Chris Jones is going to get a Team of the Week card. If he doesn't get the Master, I think he's going to get the highest set card. He had four tackles, three sacks, two forced fumbles, and an interception. This big boy killed the Eagles offense, so he definitely deserves a card. Um, I, I'm excited to see what the stats look like because he should be a pretty good card. And the last is going to be the Master, and in my opinion, it's not a popular opinion, but I think Akeem Talib will earn the master for defensive player for Team of the Week. He had an awesome game. He had a couple pass deflections, but the real highlight is the 103-yard interception return for a touchdown against the Dallas Cowboys. Shut those Cowboys up. Thank you, Akeem. Next, we got the offensive players, and I'm going to start off with the curveball here again. I definitely think Delaney Walker could get a halfback card. And now the reason why I say this is he had a rushing touchdown. I'm not actually sure what the rushing touchdown was. It could have been a fumble that he picked up and ran it in. Or they could have handed it to him in the backfield. I have no idea. But I just know EA likes to, to mess around with those out of position cards. So I definitely think if they really want to do it, definitely could be uh, a great card to do it with. Next, I think one of the lowest overall offensive players could be Derrick Henry. Again, for the same team, the Tennessee Titans. Uh, and this is one card I was like, I got to make the custom card for this guy. So I made it. Uh, I definitely think he could get an, an upgrade elite. Definitely. Uh, I know a lot of people love Derrick Henry cards, so I definitely could see getting an upgrade. I'm saying definitely a lot. Bro. Next up, we got JJ Nelson. Had a great game. Could see an upgrade for him. Um, speedster, he has like 89 speed currently on his gold card. So I'm thinking he'll push 90 to 91 speed. 
uh, depending on how much overall he gets boosted. Next, we got Martavius Bryant. I always screw up his name. Martavius Bryant. I think he could get an upgrade. He had three catches for like 70-something yards and a touchdown or two. Was it two? One, one or two touchdowns? He could get an upgrade. Would be pretty nice. Next up, we've got our, I'm going to call them elite, the better elites, the, 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 the ones you really want. We've got CJ Anderson. He had 118 yards and two total touchdowns. Uh, and then we also have Emmanuel Sanders playing for the Denver offense. Six catches, 62 yards, and two touchdowns. Then you got to throw in Trevor Simeon. He also had an awesome game, had a lot of touchdowns, and really, like, worked that Cowboys defense. So I could see a lot of Denver upgrades this week, uh, and they're well-deserved. Next, I think uh, we've got, like, a three-way tie for, like, could be master cards this week um, because of overall and just the way they try to work it. We've got, I'm going to start off with Devontae Freeman. I think he's going to be the highest overall set player just because of where his overall lies right now. Um, 84 yards with two touchdowns, a very solid game for him. Then we have Travis Kelsey, who I don't really think he had a great game, but I just know they've already given a running back and a quarterback a Team of the Week master. So I was like, it's either got to be wide receiver or it's got to be tight end. But Freeman deserved it. Tom Brady, you could throw Tom Brady in there, but the overall just didn't make sense. Um, so I threw Travis Kelsey in there, could possibly get it, but I don't think he's going to get it this week. And the last guy who I think deserves the MasterCard, but probably won't get it because I'm going to be wrong, Michael freaking Crabtree, that sorry freaking receiver. That man had six catches for 80 yards and three touchdowns, killed people in fantasy football if they, if somebody else randomly started, I don't know why you would start him, but... People were randomly started him. He got a lot of points. So those are my predictions for who's going to get Team of the Week. Again, go down in the comment section down below. Tell me who I missed and uh, who do you think will get the MasterCards. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.